Well, good morning. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the Daily Gratitude News for Friday, July 17th, 2020. And today's news around gratitude has to do with living longer and affecting your energy levels and how that affects you, of course, physically. Why gratitude impacts health. Gratitude reduces levels of stress by activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Stress, in turn, has been shown to disrupt healthy body functioning. Gratitude encourages pro-health behavior like exercising and paying attention to health risks. Gratitude lets you live longer. Here's what we know. Optimism has been used to successfully predict mortality decades later. Studies have shown that optimistic people live a few years longer than pessimistic. Now, a few years longer may not like sound like a much uh, sound like much, but I know when I'm about to die, I wouldn't mind having a few more years. We also know that gratitude is strongly correlated with positive emotions like optimism. So, gratitude equals optimism equals an extra month or years to live. With positive psychology research on the rise, I believe we can expect this claim to be rigorously tested within the next five to ten years with some longer life length studies. Gratitude increases your energy levels. Gratitude and vitality are strongly correlated. The grateful are much more likely to report physical and mental vigor. Let's look at the research on gratitude and increased energy. A study of 238 people found a correlation between vitality and gratitude. Another study of 1,662 people found a correlation between vitality and gratitude as well. This means that vitality and gratitude are strongly correlated even after considering the possibility that they are correlated because of high energy people and high gratitude people that share personality traits like extroversion in common. Do people with more energy tend to, or tend, energy, tend to experience more gratitude? Does gratitude lead to increased energy or is it something else going on? The only question we are left with is the chicken and the egg scenario. Do people with more energy tend to experience more gratitude? Does gratitude lead to increased energy or is something else going on? My belief is that there's two of these three. People with high levels of vitality tend to have some of the same traits that highly grateful people do, like high levels of optimism and life satisfaction. And finally, gratitude increases physical and mental well-being, which in turn, increases energy levels. So there's your gratitude news for today. Once again, showing the many, many aspects of what gratitude can do for you physically, mentally, and psychologically, and how it can impact your life in so many great ways. So that's the news for Friday the 17th. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.